walk on to the men's basketball team? Uh, so my decision for uh, wanting to walk on to the men's basketball team here is, well, first of all, I wanted to play college basketball uh, really bad. And I was recruited by a couple of Division three smaller schools, um, but I didn't really even see much interest from coaches at that level. Uh, but basketball was really important to me. Um, and then on top of that, the school that I chose to go to, uh, regardless of basketball, was also really important to me. So um, coming to Quinnipiac, I love the campus. I love the people here. And my ultimate decision ended up being, you know, if I'm out of school and um, when it comes to sports, you can get hurt at any moment. And, you know, you may not have that sport while you're there, so you have to be in a place that's happy, uh, that makes you happy. Um, so for me, coming to Quinnipiac was, was the right choice for me. And uh, trying to walk onto the team uh, was allowing me to fulfill that basketball need as well. What is the best piece of advice you can offer a student athlete who is looking to play basketball in college? And what advice would you give to walk-ons in particular? So as a student athlete in general, you really have to want it. I mean, it's, um, playing a Division I sport is, is a level that, um, as you know, somebody coming from a high school level, that I've never experienced before. Um, the commitment that you have to have towards the sport uh, is something very different, but it's special, and it's, it's absolutely worth it if you really um, want it. But you have to be committed. You have to really uh, want to succeed in your sport. And when it comes to walk-ons, um, it's not always about talent. It's really just about the heart and the, the love of the game and the willingness to, to speak up, get out of your comfort zone, and, and hold others accountable at the end of the day. It's, it's really what they're looking for. How is the recruiting process different for you as a walk-on? Uh, so when it came to the recruiting process, I, I talked to a few coaches at the Division three level, but when it came to being a walk-on here at Quinnipiac, uh, I was told by many people that the best route is to reach out, um, you know, tell them your name, let them know you're coming. So I, I uh, reached out to the Quinnipiac head coach, Tom Moore, at the time and just told him I was really interested in the program and I would love to come and try and uh, walk on to the program and, and try my luck at, at joining the basketball team. And, basically told me they'd love to have me for a tryout. Nothing's guaranteed, but um, they were welcome. And so getting my name out there and, and having them know who I was was definitely a big help beforehand, even before coming to school um, in the fall. And then when I came in the fall, they set up a day for a tryout and went from there. How can a walk-on student athlete get on a coach's radar? Uh, I mean, I think that is the best way. On every, um, on every athletic website, they have the coach's email, or if not the head coach, uh, director of operations, or somebody's email that you can send out. Those really do help. Um, sending that email is huge. It's a great first step to get your name um, out there, get on somebody's radar. And then after that, you know, uh, a written letter does speak volumes too. Um, maybe not just the email, but if, say, if you don't get a response right away, um, write a letter. Or even if you're on a visit in the campus, stop by the coach's office, try and get your name um, recognized and your face recognized. It goes a long way. What showcases or tournaments would you suggest that a recruit attend? Uh, it definitely depends on, you know, the level that you're playing at. Um, high school basketball, um, you're kind of limited, obviously, to the games that you're playing in through your high school. Um, certain AAU circuits will, will go to different uh, tournaments across the country. Um, for me, I think it's pretty important uh, to, to attend some hoop group camps. Uh, that's really the big name that will do camps in the Poconos, things like uh, Albright College, um, those places. So hoop group is uh, definitely a place where there are a lot of coaches there watching talent, recruiting, and it's a good place to get your skills seen. How can a recruit prepare to play at the next level? Uh, it's not an easy thing to do to, to really be able to, um, to know what it's like playing at the next level because it really is different. I think that strength goes a long way and getting in the weight room uh, as early as possible is extremely important because um, I know for me, uh, not having done that, I was definitely a step behind my teammates as I got here. As they've, you know, as re uh, recruited athletes, they were here the whole summer, they were lifting weights, things like that. So lifting weights and, and getting your strength up is definitely really important. But other than that, the game comes to you more naturally as you start to play at the next level. What's the funniest thing that has ever happened to you on the court? I think, you know, it's hard to have many funny moments on a basketball court, but, but uh, one thing that does come to mind is just in, in high school, I have a teammate of mine that um, caught, a, caught the ball on the defensive end, and instead of turning and out, like, out letting it like he should, he just went right back up uh, with that rebound into his own basket. Um, he was pretty embarrassed, but that was definitely one of the funnier moments that I've seen. Do you have a locker room ritual, and if so, what is it? So I don't necessarily have a locker room ritual that I would do, but one thing that I do have about me that's pretty quirky and weird is that every time you know we play, we have to get our ankles taped, um, just so preventative reasons to not roll them, but uh, I have to have my right ankle taped first. It's just a 
a weird thing that I like and I feel very uncomfortable if I don't, so it's just the one thing I stick to. In your opinion, what factors are the most important when deciding which program is right for you? There are definitely a few different things that go into the consideration for where you want to end up being. Um, when it comes to the program that you're picking, the coaching staff is huge. Um, playing for a head coach that you feel that you can connect to, um, that's personable, and that will help you not just on the court but off the court as well. I think having a coaching staff that appreciates you and is looking to have your best interests in their mind is very important. And then on top of that, the school that you choose to go to, uh, put your sport behind you when you're looking at that school because you know anything can happen with injuries, um, things like that, and you want to make sure that you're in a place where no matter what you're doing, you're happy outside of your sport, and you can find those things outside of your sport to really help you. All right, thanks so much, Greg.